A synchronous condenser is a DC excited synchronous motor that runs on no load. Its shaft is not connected to any driving equipment, but spins freely. It's also known as a synchronous compensator or synchronous capacitor. The main purpose of a synchronous condenser is to use the reactive power control capabilities and the synchronous inertia of the machine. It provides improved stability, voltage regulation by generating or absorbing continuously adjustable reactive power, improved short circuit strength, and stability of frequency by supplying synchronous inertia. The working principle of a synchronous condenser is similar to the synchronous motor principle. The working principle of this motor is motional EMF, which means a conductor tends to revolve because of the magnetic field effect. There are two ways used for providing a magnetic field, a three-phase AC supply and a stable DC power supply to the stator. For synchronous motors, the DC is supplied to the field winding of the rotor called an exciter. It is arranged on the shaft of the synchronous motor. A rotor with an equal number of poles like the stator is supplied through a direct current source. The rotor current creates a north-south magnetic pole connection within the rotor pole pairs by allowing the rotor to lock in step by the rotary stator flux. When the synchronous motor is underexcited, it draws a lagging current from the source and hence supplies leading reactive power or absorbs lagging reactive power. Therefore, the current drawn by a synchronous condenser can be changed from lagging to leading smoothly by varying its field excitation. Synchronous condensers are an alternative to capacitor banks and static VAR compensators for power factor correction in power grids. One advantage is that the amount of reactive power from a synchronous condenser can be continuously adjusted. Reactive power from a capacitor bank decreases when grid voltage decreases while the reactive power from a synchronous condenser inherently increases as voltage decreases. Additionally, synchronous condensers are more tolerant of power fluctuations than severe drops in voltage. Let's talk about design of a synchronous condenser. The synchronous condenser is designed with different components like a stator, rotor, exciter, amortisseur winding, and frame 1. A synchronous motor includes a three-phase stator that is analogous to an induction motor. The unit begins as an induction motor with the amortisseur winding that needs to slip to generate starting torque. For synchronous motors, the DC is supplied to the field winding of the rotor called an exciter. It is arranged on the shaft of the synchronous motor. A rotor with an equal number of poles like the stator is supplied through a direct current source. The rotor current creates a north-south magnetic pole connection within the rotor pole pairs by allowing the rotor to lock and step by the rotary stator flux. The frame is the external part of the machine and is designed with cast iron. Let's talk about operation of a synchronous condenser. Synchronous condensers are large machines that turn very freely and can absorb or generate reactive power to stabilize and strengthen a power system. These condensers assist when there are any changes within the load as they enhance network inertia. The kinetic energy which is stored within a synchronous condenser supplies the whole inertia of the power system and is very helpful from a frequency control point of view. These condensers are perfectly suitable to control the voltage on long transmission lines or within networks through a high diffusion of power electronic devices and in networks wherever there is a high danger of islanding from the major network. Synchronous condensers also help stabilize grids. The inertial response of the machine and its inductance can help stabilize a power system during rapid fluctuations of loads such as those created by short circuits or electric arc furnaces. For this reason, large installations of synchronous condensers are sometimes used in association with high-voltage direct current converter stations to supply reactive power to the alternating current grid. Synchronous condensers are also finding use in facilitating the switchover between power grids and providing power grid stabilization as turbine-based power generators are replaced with solar and wind energy. A synchronous condenser operates at nearly zero real power. As the machine passes from underexcited to overexcited, its stator current passes through a minimum. A rotating coil in a magnetic field tends to produce a sine wave voltage. When the synchronous motor is underexcited, 
it draws a lagging current from the source and hence supplies leading reactive power or absorbs lagging reactive power. Therefore, the current drawn by a synchronous condenser can be changed from lagging to leading smoothly by varying its field excitation. Let's talk about how synchronous condenser how it could help for short circuit strengthening. A synchronous condenser can significantly contribute to the short circuit strength of a power system. Short circuit strength refers to the ability of a power system to maintain stability in operation under conditions of a short circuit. When a short circuit occurs, there is a sudden surge in current, which can destabilize the power system. Synchronous condensers can help manage this situation by providing reactive power. Reactive power is essential for maintaining the voltage levels in the power system, which can fluctuate during a short circuit. Asynchronous condensers can provide up to five times more 500% short circuit power than their rated capacity. They can also provide a time-limited overload capability, sustaining 200% for 30 seconds, for instance, when responding to reactive power demands. This means that if a short circuit occurs, the synchronous condenser can supply additional power to help stabilize the system. In a broader context, with converter-based renewable energy sources increasingly integrated into power systems and conventional power plants gradually phased out, future power systems will experience reduced short circuit strength. The deployment of synchronous condensers can serve as a potential solution. An optimal synchronous condenser allocation method can improve the system's short circuit ratio at the converter point of common coupling using a modified short circuit analysis approach. The reactive power produced by a capacitor bank is in direct proportion to the square of its terminal voltage, where a synchronous condenser's reactive power declines less rapidly, and can be adjusted to compensate for falling terminal voltage. This reactive power improves voltage regulation in situations such as starting large motors, or where power must tra travel long distances from where it is generated to where it is used, as is the case with power wheeling, the transmission of electric power from one geographic region through another within a set of interconnected electric power systems. Due to the limited overload capability of semiconductors, the replacement of conventional power plants with converter-based renewable, renewable energy sources can lead to a significant drop on the system short circuit strength. Short circuit ratio SCR is commonly used as an index on the system strength. It is defined as the ratio between the short circuit capacity at the point of common coupling PCC and the rated capacity of the device. When the SCR is insufficient, Problems such as voltage instability and undesirable dynamic behaviors of converter stations could arise. In recent years, the application of synchronous condensers is gaining increasing attentions worldwide. A synchronous condenser SC is in principle a synchronous machine without the prime mover and has advantages of improving short circuit strength, voltage regulation, and system inertia. This helps enhance system stability facilitates system protection and can improve the operations of converters. System strength is one of the key factors regarding the secured operation of a power system. The ability of a power system to recover from a fault is referred to as system strength. System strength is also related to the successful and seamless operation of protection devices. Protection devices are designed to operate quickly and selectively to isolate the faulty elements from a network. It does so by detecting fault current, which is considerably higher than the normal operating current. Due to limited fault current contribution from variable speed like WTGs, protection devices may unable to recognize a fault properly, especially at the point of common coupling of wind farms. System strength is evaluated via an index called short circuit ratio SCR SCR at the PCC of a wind power plant is defined as the ratio ratio between short circuit capacity and rated generation capacity. A minimum value of SCR is required for appropriate operation of protection devices and successful ride through of wind power plants. The minimum SCR at the PCC of wind plant typically ranges from 3 to 5. Wind power integration in power grids causes replacement and retirement of synchronous generators from generation fleet, which eventually reduces SCR. 
To overcome this situation, a predetermined number of synchronous generators are purposefully kept online to ensure adequate system strength. Consequently, penetration of wind generation is restricted, which ultimately causes financial loss. To counteract this situation, an alternative approach is reported instead of intentionally compelling some conventional plants online, supplementary devices are installed to provide additional fault current. These devices mainly include synchronous condensers and static VAR compensator SVC. These devices assist to improve SCR at the PCC of wind power plants and eventually reduce wind curtailment level. However, installation of these devices is costly. Therefore, technical as well as financial viability of utilizing synchronous condenser and SVC need to be prudently examined. A synchronous condenser plays a crucial role in maintaining voltage stability in power systems. Here's how. 1. Reactive Power Control Synchronous condensers can generate or absorb reactive power. Reactive power is essential for maintaining the voltage levels in the power system, which can fluctuate under different load conditions and during contingency situations. By adjusting the field excitation of the synchronous condenser, the amount of reactive power can be controlled, thereby helping to stabilize the voltage. 2. Voltage Stability in Weak Grids Synchronous condensers can improve voltage stability in power systems with a large penetration of variable renewable energy VRE. They can dynamically provide reactive power to cover the increasing and volatile demand. Studies have shown that placing synchronous condensers at the weakest bus bars in the grid can significantly improve voltage stability. 3. Support during disturbances Synchronous condensers can support the stabilization of the power grid in case of disturbances. They increase both the short circuit resilience of the grid and the inertia of the system and supply reactive power with a significant delta increase over the rated value. 4. Enabling energy transition As more intermittent renewable energy sources enter the grid, causing fluctuations, synchronous condensers represent a fully reliable and proven solution to address the stability requirements of the grid. They help to ensure a continuously stable power supply and avoid frequency issues and even blackouts. The use of rotating synchronous condensers was common through the 1950s. They remain an alternative or a supplement to capacitors for power factor correction because of problems that have been experienced with harmonics causing capacitor overheating and catastrophic failures. Synchronous condensers are also very good for supporting voltage.